How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit that bell notification button so you guys do not miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. If you guys would also please head over to Twitch, follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week, whether it's a Call of Duty Battlefield, Halo, Destiny 2. And uh, I also stream here, of course, a lot for those games as well. And I'm going to give you guys my honest um, thoughts and opinions on the Xbox slash Bethesda showcase uh, here from 2022. Just finished watching it and I streamed it. Uh, if you guys missed out on it, I'm going to try to keep it up as long as possible. Um, for today, so you guys can watch my live reaction to the entire thing. It is about two hours-ish long. Um, but I'm sure I'm going to have to take it down because of copyright striking. Because they played some music in it in in the uh, event, and I know I'm not going to be able to keep it up there forever. Otherwise, my channel will just get destroyed, and I don't want that. Um, so I'm going to talk about a couple bad things first, and then I'll go over to the good things at the end of the video. So first of all, this was way too long, and honestly, this was a very boring Xbox Bethesda showcase. They showed off a lot of games. Which is great. However, there's there was hardly any gameplay to the games they show off. Very little. Very little details about the games. Very little, you know, insider development of like, you know, what this game's gonna be about. A release window. Either the game's coming out in 2022 or it's coming out in 2023. There's a couple games that actually got solid release dates. And I'm happy about those. But in general, everything was just like, hey, look at me. I'm nice and flashy and shiny. Pre-order me so when I come out, you can play me. I'm not, as a consumer, one of those people that sees a flashy, shiny CGI, you know, trailer. And I'm not going to buy your product if I don't know what your product is about. Like, you could show me a nice, fancy CGI trailer for two to three minutes. But if I don't see raw gameplay, if I don't see how the game plays, how the game's graphics are, how the game functions, what's the point of me buying your product? I'm not going to buy your product. It's almost like having a movie trailer for an upcoming movie and just having no audio and everyone's just standing around posing instead of like the trailer doing what it's supposed to is showing you some bombastic CGI, giving you audio dialogue to tell you like what's going to happen, what are the characters going to be doing in the movie. And that's what I want from gameplay trailers, from a, a Xbox slash Bethesda showcase, is I want to show, I want some dialogue and characters and worlds and stuff. And we got, some games gave us that, but 99% of the games did not. Also, it's really weird that this is a Xbox slash Bethesda showcase. And on the Xbox, uh, Xbox side, they don't, like, they didn't even recognize Gears of War or Halo. They didn't even mention Halo Infinite. Like, hey, this is what's coming up in the next few months for Season 2. And this is what's going to be coming for sure in Season 3. They don't even mention Halo Infinite. It's like Xbox... It's like Microsoft is just scared of Halo for some reason, which is really weird. Now, the best games that I honestly thought were shown off were the following. First of all, we've got Overwatch 2, game I'm really looking forward to. Apparently, it's going to be a free-to-play game, so you don't have to buy into it, which means it's going to be heavily monetized with a store. It's going to be heavily monetized with probably a Battle Pass system. We do know for a fact that when the game launches, we're getting at least two new heroes, a bunch of new maps. Uh, and that's supposed to launch, I don't remember the exact date, but that's supposed to launch early October. Another game I, I am excited for is Scorn. Uh, it's basically a horror survival game. It looks basically like the Alien franchise. It, you're, you're basically trying to get out of this alien ship and get back to the rest of humanity. So I'm really excited for that. Third game I'm excited for is Grounded. It's basically the video game equivalent of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. And you and three other people are trying to scavenge resources, survive being killed off by bugs and other stuff, and figure out a way to become, you know, normal-sized human beings, which I think is probably cool. 
A uh, fourth game that I'm really interested in is called Ravenlock. Uh, based on the gameplay ra- trailer that they showed off, it's basically a spin-off version of Alice in Wonderland, where you're you know you're fighting the evil queen, and you know you've got the bunny as a sidekick, and you're going through the Alice in Wonderland world. You're going through Wonderland, and you're trying to escape because somehow you get pulled through a magic mirror, <laughs> kind of like uh, Once Upon a Time, the TV show. So that looks really interesting and unique. Um, the art style I think is really cool. And uh, I don't know when that game comes out. I don't remember. But I'm looking forward to it. And of course we have to talk about last but not least Starfield. Oh my goodness. They showed off gameplay. It was very brief but they showed off some gameplay. The game comes out next year. I'm excited for it. I'm stoked. It's probably going to be a game that takes over my life and probably will kill me from playing anything else including Destiny 2 for months. <laughs> Um, I'm just excited the fact that we get to explore an entire universe. We get to explore over 1,000 planets. We get to build outposts. We get to build our ship. We get to hire our own crew. And there's going to be space combat. It's literally Starfield is going to be the equivalent of Elder Scrolls Skyrim times a million in space. And I'm so stoked. Uh, if, you know, if you've played games like you know the Elder Scrolls, uh, if you've played Destiny 2, if you've played The Outer Worlds, it's going to be similar to those types of games, but it's going to be more bombastic, more involved, more stuff to do. And it looks like a game that literally is going to take you thousands of hours to complete everything. It's going to take you thousands of hours to complete every single main quest, side quest, to explore every single planet. It looks like a game that's going to be rich with content. It's going to be a game that is literally going to be more than... $70. Like, this game feels like it's probably it probably should run you about 120 and they're only charging you 70 because it looks like it's going to be a next-gen exclusive only for Xbox Series S and X. And I'm just, I'm stoked for Starfield, if you guys can't tell. So, overall, I thought it was a very average show. They showed off five games that I actually thought were good, but I'm, I'm disappointed that they didn't show off a lot more first-party games. I don't know why they showed off so much third-party um, Redfall, I'm not a big vampire fan. Um, I've never played Dishonored or whatever that game studio has produced in the past. So I'm not really caring about Redfall. Um, I, I don't plan on playing it. It looks like a shoot up vampires collect loot system. And I've played tons of looter shooters in the past. And I just don't think it's going to intrigue me enough to keep playing and playing and playing. Um, another game I do want to mention is Diablo 4. Uh, apparently it's supposed to be the epic conclusion of the Diablo franchise and although it looks fun I've never been a big Diablo fan ever um, I couch co-op Diablo 3 a couple times with a couple of my friends years ago um, Diablo is just not something that I always have a desire to play and grind for um, it's a fun game it's a fun game series I'm just like Diablo 4 okay they got another one coming out, and it's supposed to be the last one. So for those people that care about those games, I'm happy that you're getting more of that. Um, and that's. And I want to wrap this video up in saying that there's going to be something for everybody coming out in the next 12 months. These are just the, my thoughts and opinions in the games that I'm excited for. I just wish that we got a lot more gameplay, and I wish we got more stuff when it comes to like Gears of War and Halo. And I wish they would have produced more gameplay and more games that I think people actually care about. Because I felt like they spent a lot of time with third-party games that most people aren't going to care about. And a lot of like free updates and DLC stuff like for Sea of Thieves and things. And I'm just like, this is not the place to show off expansions and DLCs. This is the time to show off current games that are being worked on heavily like Halo and showing off new games. And I think they just got their priorities mixed up. So, let me know in the comment section. Do you guys agree or disagree with me on my thoughts? Are you guys excited for Overwatch 2, Scorn, Grounded, Ravenlock, and of course Starfield? And uh, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.